all right what is going on you guys so today's video i'm gonna be installing the the harness from iWire so i already laid it out um so the two grommets this will be going to engine bay obviously it's ecu this is going to be the passenger side and then this is for the fuel pump i'll show you guys how to do that and then here is the driver side and then here is what goes to um on the fender the driver side fender through the hole to the engine bay as well um so yeah guys this this is gonna happen in this video um i'm getting everything prepped for tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna actually be swapping the car i'm just prepping everything so that um tomorrow when i do swap it i literally just have to take off the um exhaust dry shaft um drop down the rear and front so um um, subframes with the engine and tranny the front and then just do the same thing um, with the engine bay or the engine the new engine you guys can't see it it's over there but yeah coming from the passenger side because the steering column is in the way here's the bolt head side for the driver's side and then here's what goes to the fender so let me just grab this Okay, so here we go. So this is how it's gonna kind of look like. It looks like a mess right now. For the first grommet, all right, so there's these two holes, the top one and the bottom one. This is more circular, this is the more like ovally. So iWire actually showed you, um, they cut one grommet. So this cut grommet is gonna go at the bottom and the grommet that's not cut is actually gonna go to the top one so I'll do that right now so put this one through here that is gonna be for like the starter the uh, brake and clutch connections and grounds so just put it in here so you guys get the point so that will go in this and it'll be facing down this grommet the second hole on the bottom, cut grommet, is going to be facing up because there's not that much space, so this has to be facing up with the wiring. Okay guys, now see, this is going facing down, that is facing up once those grommets are in. You will now want to put your heater core and your blower. Um, I hope you guys labeled, like, labeled your bags or your bolts, um, so it's one two three down here for this and then same thing as this one and then two in the bottom right there and then over here once that's in um i'm gonna be putting the bar so you're gonna have to come from the passenger side put it through those two um studs that are coming out right there the bar is in two bolts bolt right there bolt right there with the grounds and then four bolt, uh, two nuts and uh, four, two bolts over there at the corner. Uh, once that's in, guys, I'm gonna now just be plugging in the right side with here, all the plugs here, one, two, and then here's the other one up here. So I'm just gonna be plugging that up. I'm done plugging everything in on the passenger side. I'm not putting in the airbags because I'm not gonna be using them for like the dash or the steering wheel because I'm gonna be swapping the steering wheels out. Anyways, uh, so everything's plugged in right here. And then here's like the blower and then the AC stuff that's in. And then this pink stuff, you don't have to worry about it unless you have a wagon. Um, and then I'm gonna be doing this last. This is for the fuel pump. He has a ground. And then I'll show you guys that at the end of this video. Actually, I'm not gonna be plugging in the driver side because like I said I'm gonna have to remove the steering column from the steering rack um, and then I'm gonna have to unplug it and so redo it again and I don't want to do double the work and as well because um, this wiring right here with the two heads this long one uh, this one has to go through the fender and I'll show you why go through the fender come out and on the JDM, well, this is like the 05 SCI. Oh my God. See, it has these two plugs on the side. So 
fender plugs into this right here these two where i left off um with the wiring harness was the wiring harness that goes to the jdm engine i showed you guys in the previous um video uh these two so what you, i had to do was remove the um driver side fender here it is and it's just like three bolts right here there should be one there but it didn't have one one right there and then two right here in the sides that comes off I had to pop off the corner light and then there's a little grommet right here this grommet and here's the it goes through here all through here through this hole the last thing we do is wiring up this fuel pump controller this is what it looks like the um, eyewire gives you this when you um get your harness and then here's my the build for mine um one one thousand one hundred and fourteen um so what i'm gonna do is what you have to do is put it under here next to like the ac um, controller just um zip tie it zip tie it to the harness and then it has its own ground um do not ground this with anything else this should have its own ground um and there's one hole you right here um you guys can't see it but there'll be there's two holes this one's already grounded but there's a separate one right here ground that and then this wire will go through all this plastic trim you might have to take this off this is what it should look like you see the fuel pump controller zip tied to the harness and then here is the second ground this is the ground to itself it's not i'm sorry it's not focusing you guys uh focus it's not focusing to the button but that's the ground right there and then let me zoom out the wiring the whole the little white wire that goes all oh, should go through here i just took off the rear piece right now because i haven't taken it off and then it goes back here and then you have to take your back seats off which is just two 12s one right here one over there it's pretty easy and then now all right so you're gonna have to come find this connection a white connection uh the wires are gonna have a black with the red stripe and then a the black what you're gonna have to do is this is very important guys from the body side not not this side the body side you're gonna have to cut the black wire cut it like about so and you're gonna crimp this white wire to this black this white wire should be crimped on and iWire did provide this which is really cool thank you guys uh, they provided this crimp uh, so this is the body side like i said there's one wire that's all black one wire that's all that has black and a red stripe you're supposed to cut the body side of the black wire and you just crimp it on like this uh, this goes to your fuel your fuel pump and yeah so that's it um man, this is a mess guys like this is crazy i'm gonna end it here guys and then the next also videos would be installing or not installing but swapping in the sti engine so all right guys if you guys enjoyed please like subscribe comment down below um, i'll see you guys in the next video all right later